Evening, folks. Welcome back to Bama Forts and Venice Chainsaws. You're back with your host, uh, Nick DeForster. This used to be Nick DeForster's uh, YouTube channel. Changed the names because we're going to keep it mainly on chainsaws. Uh, we'll be showing a little bit more stuff here and there, but still primarily going to be on chainsaws. Got a kind of surprise for y'all tonight. I picked this up a week or two ago. Uh, granted, it's right now it's only parts. It really dove off into it. Seeing if it would spin over, it will, but it's very tight. But what I picked up was a lot of parts. I mean, extra starter uh, housing, extra clutch cover, handlebar, uh, bottom brace, uh, extra oil tank is this lovely old gal, Supro 80. I picked up a bunch of parts. I really bought all of it for the parts. I knew it saw it was probably junk, but always nice to have ADCC parts around. So uh, I kind of want to dive off and see exactly what's going on with it. Like I said, it's tight. I think she's blown up. Yeah, it ain't going to roll very easy for me. But it's got the old reed muffler with the cover still on it. So that's pretty cool. Um, looks like this was out of Oregon. Something sales and service. Wilburn. Something like that. Rayburn. Something like that. But kind of want to pull the top off, see what we can look down in the cylinder and see. So it looks like we got a. Wilbur SDC carb on it. It is not as adjustable. It is not a govern carb. Uh, fuel tanks. Got some varnish in it, but no white death that I can see. So let's see uh, what we can do about looking down. I guess we could pull out the plug. Let's try that. Plug. Don't look awfully old. I think it's a smaller plug. Yep, it was. So it's gonna be, I think it's right here. Nope, one smaller than that. All right, have it up here. Nope, it's gonna be this guy down in the box. Yeah, well, that's like, I don't fit none of my stuff well. This might, yeah, it don't fit none of my size as well, but that might be able to do it. Let's see. But there's a lot of good usable. I say top tank, carb, uh, clutch, muffler, decomp, oil tank. Mounts are actually in pretty decent shape on this one. You know, I got a bunch of spares, so I don't really need them, but it's always nice to have. All right, I left Lucy. Oh man, she's tight. Let me grab my hammer so we can get that way. I think that loosened her up. Yep. And she's mighty tight. Grab that guy for. It goes off into the abyss. Yeah, that sucker's tight. Let's see what the end of our plug looks like. If it's rusted, then we know it's something that's probably junk. Well, not rusted. Let's see, kind of, we can see down in, anything down in here. That cylinder wall on that side looks decent. Decomp feels decent, so I don't know if it was leaking too bad from there. So we can get it pull over. Yeah. She definitely blown up. Alright, I say that. Bottom end does not feel good, but right now that cylinder wall looks pretty decent. Still got some oil off in it. I think 
said, you definitely got to come apart. That bottom end's not happy. Um, see if we can pull the carb off halfway easily. So it's going to have to come off in anyhow. Look at this. Small screwdriver. Plus we get to see how far these were out. So half. Oh wow. The top end was only out half. I believe. Bottom or low was out. Half. It's either right at half or this thing's being real sticky. So that's not that good. Let's pull these out so we can get down in here and really take a look. So I'm gonna look down on the exhaust side. That's typically where these like to. Uh, Flake off at. But if y'all been around long enough, y'all know I have a Supro 80 block that had a chipped piston in it. And we are able to cut the piston, essentially port it to take out that chip. And like I said, basically port the saw. So. If we need to, we can throw that block in here. Like I said, the bearings in that one's pretty darn good. Luckily, I have an extra set of bearings for this. Four of these solves. I only have one, one set, so trying to hold off on using it. Let's have a pick up. I say bearings, uh, just the uh, flywheel side. We got clutch side. Got plenty of those. You can pick those up at the hardware store. as far out as we can I think that's it Had to pull off our choke that came off pretty easy pull off this uh, fuel line she's pretty stiff so I think she'll, she'll come off fairly decent there she goes some nasty fuel. Definitely varnish. Let's pull our carb head off. Now, I'm still waiting for parts on this Husqvarna 1100. They'll come in eventually. Until then, I gotta wait on it. Should be her. I wonder how stuck this sucker's gonna be. Pretty stuck. There we go. Got to move. All right, let's pull. Oh, should have done opposite. Still be able to get it out. Let's see. Clean that up. Pull them jets out. And pull this guy off. These, I don't know why the throttle on these are such a pain to get off sometimes. It really can't be, especially when that choke gets in the way. Come on. Man, it just likes to jam off in there. Come on. It's like it does not like to make the turn to come off of these. From what I found.
go. Choke, get out of my way. Of course, it's holding me on this side. There you go. This one looks, yeah, you can definitely hear it hitting that thing. That rod's done busted. Piston on this side looks fairly decent. It's got one small little score on it, but nothing terrible. That's it, this thing's so hard to pull over. I ain't sure what's exactly going on with it. Ooh, I think I see some bad scoring down there. On the exhaust side. Like this thing was ran hot. Let's see. If I can get it to pull just a touch more. Nope. She likes to go down. She does not like to come up. There we go. So we got a clean side on her. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, that cylinder, she is shot, shot, shot. That's gonna be a good candidate for a, uh, what's it called? A uh, sleeve, wish I could show y'all that. I don't know if y'all be able to see it, let's see. Let me pour some of this nasty gunk on me. No, no, that's too bright. Let's see here. All right, so, oh, there goes some brake clean. That's all right. Y'all see down in there that scoring? Nah, y'all ain't gonna be able to see that. Oh well. I wonder what our piston looks like on the exhaust side since that what it looks like on the front side. Let's see. First, let me pick up my pick that fell. So I ain't taking this thing way apart because we got other things that need to get done on the table. I just want to take a look and see. Just wanted to take a little gander and see. I guess let's go ahead and pull this bottom brace off. It ain't doing much anything anyways. Oh man, this this bolt's tight. They just ran something down in there. Which could possibly move it out of the way. I just no, I need to take it off. I would like to save this piston if I could. That'd be nice. Yeah, it's definitely way too big of a bolt. Let's turn it around. Won't knock a carb off. Take that bolt out, which I believe is a 10 millimeter. What's on my other one? Let's see. No, that's my 10 millimeter. Nope, it is not on this one. Let's see what we got here. No, I should have fit it. That other one. It's just got so much crap around it. Let's 
Nope, it's rounded off bad. Let's see. You fit it. Nope, 14 won't fit it. Let's see if you will fit it. That fits it. 12.10 millimeter fits it. Just going to use the impact on it. Just cut straight to the chase, you know. I said the rear mount's better than this front mount. Front mount's not terrible. He's a little gummy. She was loose anyway. I'm going to pull this sucker out. So yeah, this one's got the small AB mount up front. It's probably fairly original. That so that stays together. Right. Now, what do we got going on down here? Oh, this is one of those funky uh ignitions a felon ignitions i've never had one of these souls that will be going back with it and tell you that much i'm not a fan of them it's not gonna be easy to come off now is it i ain't look up underneath it to see yeah i've never had one of these souls that had the felon ignition on it yeah, it's not look like a fun time Hmm. We'll have to pull that off. Pull this guy off, which is just this bolt back here. And one right. I believe it's right there on this one. Then we'll have to take these two. I think that's it. Yeah, I've never had one of these ignitions. One I saw on any of my 800 or nothing, Super 80s, 850s. This must be about late 80. So I can, all I can get it. Good thing I seen where that one went. I said that. There she is. So somebody been in here, I guess trying to revive it. This cylinder is shot. B bottom end is probably shot. I'm having a good luck with keeping bolts on the table tonight, am I? Let's see, you got one right there. Is that the only one really holding it? Pretty much. We have one up on the front holding us. We do, just barely. Yeah, I think somebody had tried to bring this old girl back to life one time. This one's still holding on just a touch. Yup. Got that funky. What's it called? But it's a good thing we can swap that out for a later uh, coil. It'll be perfectly fine. So now I'm gonna take this screw out. Pull that guy out. Let's pull that mount off. Jane, nothing but a let's go. Knows and if this ignition's good, and I'll save it because obviously you can go on a another uh, cylinder.
if it's good. I don't like the design of it. It seems very problematic. Alright, let's take you off. Let's see how does that pull them bolts out before we lose them. Oh, it's kind of got a spacer up top. Take up some of that space. side for now. That should be 10 millimeter. That's going to be one. It's going to be this little guy. Quarter inch, which it should be. Oh, it's got the lock still on it. Let's see. I'll have to get an Allen key for that, which should be that guy. Let's see if these... Nope, one smaller. A four millimeter. loose that one's loose this reed wasn't doing nothing anyways luckily I got a bunch of these blocks laying around just from acquiring them over the years this one is a sure what cylinder this is oh it's an a cylinder huh we might actually be able to get a piston for this one granted i hope this one this piston's good but if not a's are somewhat easy to find okay it's got that could pull all this off wow it's still running the screen yeah that reed wasn't doing nothing doesn't even see one against that. All right. Got to take these locks off. This one's right there. So we'll get it to come off. That should be enough. And then that one is right there. That should be enough to get a socket on. Trying to see what our piston looks like. That one should be off. Should be a 10 millimeter. Just use this guy. Come on. Really? That's annoying. going to be maybe 7 sixteenths. 7 sixteenths is too big on it. It's just worn down to damn near nothing. We about can't even get a socket or nothing on it. If we do bring this back, we're going to have to get a different bolt for that. I got it to turn there or not. I don't believe it did. Oh, she just spinning around. So let's see. Probably gonna be too big for her. Or too small. Yeah. Three eighths will do it. And got it good.
take a look at her. Ooh. Oh, that's painful. Oh, my goodness. She is scored up. Got one bad score dead in the middle of it. I believe y'all even be able to see that. Y'all see those scores off in it? See that one bad one right there? A couple more around it. Granted, we still may be able to save this sooner. Granted, I don't think I have any A's. Now she's loose. She's definitely. Definitely gonna be tough. Those rings are definitely stuck. Rest of the cylinder actually looks good, but that's all side. I don't know who did that, but that's terrible. That is absolutely terrible. Maybe I'll say that piston it ain't gonna be perfect, but don't think that cylinder's gonna be able to get saved. Not in that kind of condition. Let's see, let me spin this on around again. Yeah, she's missing so much material down there, even on the bottom, the, below the exhaust port. I can't even imagine what the top looks like. Well, I guess I can get through cylinder back in or spark plug back in at C just got any compression but I doubt it highly doubt it well, she got some she might be able to say she may not be too bad on the top end yeah with the decomp in, it's good. But with it out, it's, ah, uh, she's still got some. Ain't, ain't gonna win nothing. But she got some compression to her. Rings must may not be too stuck. She got a little bit of thump left to her. I may be able to save it. Okay, and I'm so worried about that plating below the exhaust port. But she might be something. Let's have to tear fully down and see. That's about all I'm going to get into it tonight. Um, so I'm still waiting for parts on this one. But if I can finish cutting the piston on that other cylinder, I may uh, put it together and continue tearing this one down. I think I have another boot put in here. Then I said we got to clean out that varnish up here, up in the top in our tank. Other than that, I've got mounts. Don't know if this ignition's good. I guess I could spin it over with spark plug out and see. Um, but like I said, I got another ignition if that's the case for that other cylinder. Then I've got a handlebar I could put on this. I got a half wrap and a full wrap. Uh, that's about all it needs. It's got the uh, starter assembly. It's got the muffler. It's got a clutch cover for it. That's about it. I mean, other than that, there ain't a whole lot. I've got gaskets for it. So that wouldn't be an issue. Just be cleaning it up and throwing another block in it. But like I said, that's got a little bit of compression. It's got more than my other saws that I uh, have eaten. Uh, Plating. Granted, this wasn't mine. I just picked it up. But uh, it's got a little bit of something to it. So we'll just have to see what we can figure out with it. Well, uh, like I said, we'll just throw that other ported block in it for now. Pull that cylinder down. Maybe uh, once we get it tore down and put the other block in it, we'll tear this one down to see kind of what's all going on with it and go from there. But that's kind of an inspection of a quote-unquote barn find uh new to you whatever you want to say uh mcculloch super 80 super 81 850 800 they're basically all the same solid different names uh 
there's small differences, but the general makeup of them, tear down of them, is the same. Um, so yeah, it's got a little bit of compression. Like I said, and that spark plug ain't even all the way in. It's got got a little bit. Ain't nothing great, but she's got some that may have good plating above the exhaust port. I'll just have to see. Um, if it's starting to lose some of the exhaust port, that's it. I mean, it's just going to be a candidate to get sleeved. Uh, we could save that piston. We can clean it up. won't be perfect, but uh, they can fit it to that piston. And uh, it'll be fine going into another saw. But I hope you enjoyed this quick little teardown, a little inspection. Wasn't much of a teardown, just a little inspection, seeing what we actually have. And uh Hope y'all have a great rest of the evening. If you don't mind, uh, hit that like button. Uh, if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. We'll be getting in this saw, the Hutch Barn 1100. I may have found something for those that stuck around for our uh, Pioneer, not Pioneer, partner, P or S65. Uh, that saw is in really good shape. May have found a cylinder for it. Um, get that one back going, and we about to run a lot of damn saws. <laughs> Sorry to curse, but... Uh, I got a lot that I need to run. Um, uh, see if they're fixed. Some of them just need to stretch their legs. You name it. I mean, we're going to do it up here. It's just been hot. It's finally cooling down. I think uh, Saturday it's supposed to be low 80s. So that'll be nice. I may try to do some cutting after uh, cutting some grass this weekend. Um, but yeah, hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you don't mind. Uh, hit the like button uh, if you want to know when we come out hit that bell button uh, that's how i've been told it works and then uh if you want to see more hit that subscribe button we got a lot of content uh and a lot more running that's going to be coming pretty soon so appreciate y'all watching i hope you have a great rest of the evening uh and a great weekend or week whatever it may be for you so thanks y'all